Hey guys, just a discussion about the orthodontist relapse case. This is the upper art of the patient that uh, 39 years old, had braces about uh, 11 years ago. And you can see the anterior side look pretty decent, but there is the fixed retainer that wrapping around from canine to canine. But as you can see, the canine is broken off on the left side. And this is the lower, same thing. There is a fixed retainer. And you can see a very thick mandibular arch, um, bony, and this is the bite of the patient. Look at the sideway, uh, class one occlusion and anterior deep, uh, slightly overbite, uh, and um, there is the relapse on the uh, anterior case. Now, <clears throat> one of the reasons that I want to discuss about this case, as you can see, this is a deep bite, and the patient actually bite on a wire. Now. The reason I talked, I want to discuss about this case is because the patient chip complaint is he had to wear the uh, CPAP machine. That means that they have a sleep apnea, and the patient is only thirty nine years old. Now you look at the overall picture of her smile. Not everything is not too bad, but behind that is a fixed retainer. Now and the fixed retainer is on the verge of collapsing because of the problem. This is the nigar that. Um, she is wearing as well during at night time um, for her to retain the whatever she left left and um, she also had to wear the fixed retain uh, the uh, sleep apnea uh, uh, CPAP machine so <clears throat> in any way if you look at this case um, there is no doubt that the orthodontist did the best job that he could right but now the technology allowed us to um, go back and think about what's going on, you know. So we have to look at the physiology of the patient, not just braces, right? So in this case, the patient has a problem with breathing at nighttime. She so has lack of oxygen. So her airway is an issue. So this is considered a um, multidisciplinary uh, um, approach now, holistic approach. Uh, we had to work with the oral surgeon to evaluate the tongue side, the airway space, the uh, um, body weight, and the um, more and more, and not only just the teeth. And um, looking at this case, if somebody had to re uh, repair the problem here, that what would you do in this particular case? Would you try to redo the orthodontist K again and how do you do this? Uh, all the um, philosophy out there is that you would move, you would push all of those uh, anterior teeth together and move posterior teeth forward. When the, when the back teeth, when the posterior teeth move forward, there is no room for a, for relapse because the now the uh, measurely drip of the uh, posterior teeth Will prevent the back uh, the the those anterior teeth to uh, spread out, and that's a good uh, suggestion. What other thing you have to do? Look at the frenum, remove the frenum so the patient don't have the strong frenum uh, muscle attachment that can separate number A and I together. And the the other thing that we also have to do would be um, do the uh, fibronectomy. Make sure that all of those teeth, if they have any rotation, previous rotation, rotation would be, um, uh, those fiber should be regenerated in the way that more favorable to new position. And what else you have to do? We have to, again, like I said, we have to work with multidisciplinary uh, medical team and dental team to make sure that Airway space is enough that um, either patient need tongue reduction, uh, at mandibular advance, any procedure that necessary to create more room uh, for the airway. So uh, bottom line, dentistry and medical is now one in one. Uh, it need to be correlated. Uh, we can't just do dentistry and we skip medical but we can't just do medical and we skip dentistry um, the disciplinary between medical and dental field should be a one effort joined together and 
uh, I would believe that medical doctors shouldn't have some knowledge about dentistry and dental people, dental orthodontists and general dentists or prosthodontists and any uh, dental professional people also have to have knowledge that can help the uh, overall body health of the patient, not just dentistry alone. Anyway, the purpose of this presentation is not to blame anyone, but it's just that, you know, the more we know about um, medicine and technology and uh, uh, and uh, new latest research, we uh, at professional healthcare professional should work together, improve patient health, not just um, focus on your focus on your specialty, but ignore other people um, work of art and uh, other uh, specialty that can help the patient in overall. Thank you for watching. This is the video for uh, pretty much healthcare provider, dental, orthodontist, uh, people, uh, general dentist, as well as medical oral surgeon. Uh, uh, a team approach uh, strategy uh, in the future. Um, we learn from each other. That's how we improve the uh, healthcare for, for service for people. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a good day, everybody.